Shalom, Shalom, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS stop and listen, coming with a short lesson. You know, uh, we're in this time of, of, of getting close to the time of the end. Uh, you see the title Nuclear War, Serious Survival, which is survival is going to be for the elect. Survivor here. So I'm going to let you listen to this, this guy. This is part of the nuclear okay. war. So he's telling you, he's showing you that thermonuclear destruction is destructive, okay? And like you said in the video, one day someone is going to push the button. <clears throat> because the Lord, when he said that, it made, it made me think of this scripture here. Ezekiel 38 and 9. Thou shalt ascend, thou shalt ascend and come like a storm that thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land and thy and all thy bands and many people with thee. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, it shall also come to pass that at the same times shall things come into thy mind and thou shalt think an evil thought. Because the Lord is actually controlling this, right? He's putting these thoughts in these, these people's mind to go to war because ultimately the people... Contrary to popular belief, you think the Lord is going to come back floating on a cloud. He, he's coming back bringing destruction, okay? This is this is our salvation at, of Israel. This, this is how you're going to get up out of here. Thermonuclear destruction, it must happen, okay? This is Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name, okay? Yahweh. 3068. See the original? Those are the fearing words for the Lord's name. Yah ha what? But Esau throws it. That's where they throw the throw the uh put too much salt in the meat with, with the Jehovah. Because there are no J's in the in the Hebrew. The proper name of the one true power, Yahweh. Okay. Proper name. He's a man of war. Okay. Uh Malakam Ma Malakama Ma Ma Malkama meaning what war battle. Okay. Sense of fighting. This is what the Lord is gonna do when you read in second Ezra the thirteenth chapter. He's coming back with his angels and when they're fighting in the land of Harbor God one, the mountain of troops. They're gonna, he's gonna put the spirit on these men, a thought, an evil thought of their mind, and like we can, we can like take, we can take these ships that's coming. And he's gonna put that spirit on them to fight, even though they're gonna be afraid. Okay, the Lord does this, man. Okay. Uh, Isaiah forty-five, I think it's seven. 
I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord, Yahweh, create the darkness and the light and the peace and the evil, man. So if there's peace on the earth, he's created. If there's evil, he's doing it. So the Lord is in control of these wars, okay? This is how we're going to get out of here, man. The Lord actually put the spirit, same book, 56, in, wait a minute. Is it 56? 54? 54. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith to blow at the coals in the fire, and I will bring forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. It's the waster. Uh, shak sh shakath to destroy, corrupt, to go to ruin, to be marred, to ruin, a destroyer. Right? The Lord said, I created this instrument, man. Right? Back in the day, you had blacksmiths that would fine tune metal. The modern day blacksmiths we know to be who the scientists of teaming. Who the Lord have had these men to create, to put the paperwork in the, the per, standard operating procedures. He's gave them the ability to put these diffusion together, to put this uranium and this plutonium together to create a destructive instrument for his work. I can tell you, the Lord is a man of war. He's playing a, a hell of a chess game. Okay? No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. He's talking about the elect. But like church people like to use this to, to their, they don't know what it's talking about. No weapon formed against me. Like, you know, like they don't even know what it means, man. This is going into the elect being what the weapons of nuclear destruction will not bother the elect because they will be uh, saved out of this. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment Thou shalt condemn. So when this Edomite come against us to revile us, the Lord is going to condemn him because they're reviling us now in this time. Trying to make us look like bad, like we're a terrorist. Trying to make our names look bad because we're pushing the truth. And they hate to hear the truth because the truth entails in them their, their kingdom going down and they're going into subjection. They don't want to hear it. So they're trying to defame us and defame our character. The character assassinations, man. Okay, now I'm going to play the video again. A one megaton could destroy 80 square miles. Ground zero. The term ground zero refers to the point on the Earth's surface below or above the point of detonation. For a burst over or underwater, the corresponding point is generally called surface zero. The term surface zero or surface ground zero is also commonly used for ground surface and underground explosions. The different types of nuclear explosions. An air burst is defined as one in which the explosion occurs in the air at an altitude below 100,000 feet. Also, one of the classifying factors is that the fireball does not touch the surface of the earth. A detonation above that altitude of 100,000 feet is generally denoted as a high altitude burst. Air burst and high altitude burst are designed to give the maximum range for the fireball and blast radius. These are also used to generate massive EMP effects and long range devastation. The fallout will be negligible. A nuclear explosion that occurs at or slightly above the actual surface of the land is known as a surface burst. Surface bursts on land are designed for complete destruction of a certain area and result in tremendous amounts of fallout, which can make an area uninhabitable for extreme periods of time. Water bursts are designed to impact sea levels, destroy water or coastline-based installations. If the explosion happens beneath the surface of the land or water, then it is known as underground or underwater, and sometimes this is called subsurface. Subsurface bursts are generally designed to destroy underground targets such as bunkers and similar. So guess what? You're going to have 
those different types of bursts, like you just said, okay? You're going to have those underwater because they're going to be destroying things underwater. The surface burst is what the one we normally see all the time where it destroys before it hits and that mushroom, that fire flows and that mushroom cloud, okay? This is this is the one that's going to destroy America, man. Okay? Because you think the Lord is coming to bring daisies, man. What did the Lord say right here in uh uh, right here in Matthew 10, 34. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I've come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, what's a sword? Straight sword for thrusting. And what are the nuclear missiles going to do? Thrust through the earth. A figurative, figurative war, a Jewish judicial punishment. That's what these nuclear weapons are going to be for. For the punishment of, of Esau. Two-thirds of our own people and you other nations, man. So the Lord is coming back. He's not coming back to be playing around with you people, man. You know, he's coming back for, for destruction. All right? It's coming back to brain war and to take the crowns of you nations when you read in Revelations the nineteenth chapter. Okay. If you are of the elect, you're gonna be exempt from that. And everybody else is gonna be is is gonna be no really no pity for you. This is Ezekiel nine and four, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, he was talking to an angel, through the midst of Jerusalem was an Negroes, Latinos, and the Native American a people before it's a place and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men, okay, that sigh and cry of all the abominations that be done in the midst of The key to it is men, man, okay? So these men are the men who have what? Labored and pushed the truth, came back to the law, statutes, commandments, had faith, and went out and done the work. And looked at this themselves as unprofitable ser service, man. Okay? They have done the work, okay? They have not been high-minded. None of that. So he says, set that mark. That mark is the why, which is what? Mark a sign of exemption from judgment. Just like the Passover, okay? Just like the Passover. In that particular time, basically, that's what it's going to be. Okay? Exempt from judgment, man. It says to the others who don't, who are not exempt from that judgment, he said, in my hearing, go after through the midst of the city and smite. Let your eye spare, neither have ye pity. So he's telling angels, don't have no pity. Don't spare none. Okay? And when the angels get those uh those instructions, they're going to they're gonna do exactly what they're told to do. Verse six, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. See? So the Lord is gonna be killing little little children, women, and maids, man. So y'all think the Lord is all happy and, and you, you wanna uh uh in America, in this society, oh, you don't hit a woman. You don't never raise your hand to hit a woman, but the Lord is going to raise his hand to destroy women and little children. So what do you really know about the Lord, okay? But y'all don't read this scripture. Y'all want to read the happy-go-lucky scriptures and, and, and try to make them fit your, your, your little life, you know, so you can keep doing your little wickedness. But the Lord says right here he's going to smite little children and women. But come near, not near any man, why they say man again, upon whom the mark, whom, whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. You're going to begin at the house of Israel. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house, man. So the Lord is getting ready to destroy. Okay? He's getting ready to bring that thermonuclear destruction. Okay? He's getting ready to smite old, he, 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 no respect of persons, man. Okay, there'll be no respect of persons in that day. So, hey, man, the thermonuclear destruction is coming. And uh, 
just gotta hey pray hey pray that, that you know uh matter of fact I end on this uh, I said pray uh uh what's that scripture? Luke 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 twenty one I think thirty choose we see you know it says when now and and when they now shoot forth, you see now yourselves that the summer is nigh at hand. So likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. You see these different prophecies unfolding. They're urging in the microchip. And certain people have chips in different countries. Uh, you see more famine conditions, more pestilence. Know that these things are, you see the wars and the rumors of wars. We know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall pass not, shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So all these have to be fulfilled before the Lord brings that destruction, right? Tradition among men, the chip, martial law, all these things have to happen before the end come, Okay. It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So the Lord's words will not be void. They won't go out void. They're going to accomplish the things that he said they will. I'm trying to find this scripture. It says, uh, let's see. Let's see. Boom, that's it. Luke 21 and 36. But the other scriptures are beautiful too, man. It was beautiful scriptures. They edify what, 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 we, what we went into. So that's the spirit. It says, Luke 21 and 36. And I'll end with this. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Account you worthy meaning what? That you deserve it, okay? Uh, cataxio, to account worthy, to judge worthy, strong definition, to redeem entirely deserving. So you want to be deserving of this 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 uh, chariot ride that's going to come to get you out of this destruction. Because the scriptures say the Lord going to spite, man. Isaiah 66, the slain going to be many. Seven, th seven billion people, a lot of people going to die. So you want to be accounted worthy, man. So you want to do this work, man, that the Lord has, has put forth in these instructions, in these scriptures. Do what he told you to do and stay humble with it, man. Okay? That we may be counted worthy, man. And Lord willing, we those those men. And the men that is out here prophesying uh, is all spirit and truth. And the spirit of truth, man, and true, true doctrine. Make it, man. Because this is not an easy task that we're doing. People like to talk shit, go get a job. Y'all just out here. No, this is not an easy task, man. Because in order to get out here, you got to read. You got to, you know, you got to pray that the Lord keep the spirit on you. Because a lot of people are bugging out. You got bug outs running around. So this is not an easy thing. So we must keep praying, watch therefore and pray. And you know that we be counted worthy to get this ride out of here, man. Because destruction is coming. And nuclear destruction is coming, man. You know, okay. So with that, all praise, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekahakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen to the next time. I say Shalom.